when you meditate, your mind is become tranquil, clear. It's not just tranquil, clear, just vacant. Right. There's energy, right. there's force. Right. My name is Orjin Chuang, sometimes called Rinpoche. Rinpoche, welcome. Thank you. So I'm here with Orjin Chuang. Rinpoche. Yes. Did I say that correctly? Yes, correct. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming to, we call this Camp Elephant, thank our you. office in Boulder, Colorado. And today I wanted to ask you about something that a lot of people uh, find to be very boring, mm. which is almost a good thing maybe. Yes. It's very normal, mm. which is meditation. Yes. So many of my friends have lots of stress mm. or sadness, emotional mm. upheaval, mm. Um, anger sometimes, mm. temper. Uh, and they or they get they're in a breakup with yes. a loved one and they and then they come to me when they're having a really hard time yes. and they say oh, let, let me go with you and try this meditation stuff yes why do you do you recommend that Americans that Westerners that everyone meditates yes I think it's a very good question that uh, working your mind more effectively and I think um, there's two things we have you know like one is physical body there's mind and I think everybody's doing good when physical level, they're doing, you know, like exercise, they're doing yoga, they eat the healthy food. Right. And therefore, there are many people have, you know, they're physically many people are healthy. Right. We but know it's important to train our train body. body. Yeah. But we don't know how to train our mind. Hmm. That's the problem is, you know, what are, hmm. this uh, world is going to separate. They're, they know how to train their body. They don't know how to work their mind. Mm -hmm. Meditation is, you know, like, act, you know, like almost, uh, you know, training your mind, exercise your mind, and meditation give uh, release your negative thoughts, emotions, and that's really important. And also, for example, there's two things, you know, like uh, you have mind is training and receive, you know, mental diet means receive positive news. Mm. I receive something like meditation introductions, like compassion, love, all this information, positive, we call, you know, sometimes positive thinking. Right. Positive thinking means the diet of mind. We always have negative thinking and negative thoughts and negative emotion, negative news that distort our mind. Mm. When our mind is distorted and polluted, and then we have, you know, like such a, anger, unhappiness, uh, you know, like sadness, all these things, sign of your mind is distorted, uh, polluted. So something Trungpa Rinpoche, Chikin mm. Trungpa, taught about was mm. spiritual materialism. Yes. So often we in America, we say positivity. Mm. We say, oh, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm going to ignore mm. anything, any suffering. Mm. I'm going to ignore anything bad. And I'm just going to imagine positive, happy thoughts mm. like balloons and mm. unicorns and glitter and mm. that's not what you're talking about, That's right? not what I'm talking about. Right. I'm, I'm talking about <clears throat> uh, like uh, transform your mind, you know, mainly transform. Mm. Like, for example, like we are transform our body means, but what is transform body is losing weight, become bodies healthy. Similar mind, how do you mind, you transform your mind? the neurotic, complicated mind to tranquil, happy mind. How do you transform? It's yeah. through meditation. So one question my friends always have is they say, well, if meditation works or Buddhism works, then why are you or why are other people still such jerks or such, you know, mentally yes. up and down? Yes. Is that because we're all just human or are we not? Maybe we Buddhists aren't meditating enough. I think we know how to meditate first. Yeah. First ask, many people says they want to fix their meditation. They, they say, my meditation, you know. I ask first, you need to identify first what kind of meditation you do. Mm. Most people don't know what that kind of meditation they do. Right. If you don't know how to identify your meditation, right. therefore, you, your meditation is not success. First, you need to identify. I'm, I'm doing shamatha meditation, I'm doing mindfulness meditation, right. I'm doing Dzogchen or some other meditation. So that's something people don't realize. There's many different meditations. Many different kinds of meditations. Yeah. You need, in order to meditate, you need to have, you know, like identify your meditation. So, 
today, could you uh, teach us watching mm. this video um, uh, basic meditation that we could do? Do you recommend to do it for a few minutes at least in the morning, in the evening? Yeah, I think that depend. you know, like for example, uh, the beginners, I think they can do like five minutes first mm. and then go to, you know, expand 10 minutes. Right. And then, and then it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can build that. And you can do it at, at your home alone or you can do it with other people? Yeah, you can do home alone, you can do other people. Like exercise, you know, someone's really right. never done exercise, they don't have, cannot do a walk or a jog in like 20 minutes. They need to build up slowly, slowly. Mm. Most people you need, don't have the ability to remain in present. They mm. need to learn how to remain in present moment. And once you have ability to remain in present moment, you have the ability to meditate. And so in shamatha, which means resting yes. the mind or stabilizing yeah. the mind, you're stabilizing the mind in the present moment? Is yes. That uh, yes, shamatha meditation, usually our mind is, you know, like, mm, uh, always wandering, mm. you know, cannot stay one place, always, you know, like this, and collect so much garbage around the world. <laughs> You know, if you see something, you hear something, you, you know, you look at the news, always yeah. collect lots of garbage from yeah. the world. And then that I means... Had a, I had a song stuck in my head, <laughs> you know, a song yes, yes. stuck in my head for like a week. Yes, and yes. when I, I wouldn't re no, notice unless I meditated yes, in that yes, song. And yeah. like, wow. Yeah. And then what we do is um, that mind is chaos and you're mm. like, and we agitate. How do you transform that kind of agitated chaos mind? It's just remaining in uh, you know, present moment. Mm. When you remain in present moment, you know, like say, watch the breath, mm -hmm. and then your all thoughts, emotions slows down mm. because you are not pay attention to any outside world. Just you're remaining, just focus your breath, few minutes, 10, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. During this period of time, your thoughts, emotions slowly, slowly dissipate. When mm. your thoughts, emotions are dissipated, it's, your mind is naturally become tranquil, clear, and calm. And mm. one, one more question is often people think, so if you meditate because you want to be happy instead of confused all the time, you want to be present and just basically happy with, cheerful with your life, do you just become flat all the time or do you still enjoy life? I think uh, you meditate, you enjoy more life. Yeah. That's really because the reason is we are not enjoy world because our mind is so polluted. Right. We have stress, and your mind is stressed. You are not enjoyed. Right. And fearful, you are not enjoyed. Or maybe agitated, you are not enjoyed. Right. On because when or greedy, uh, greedy or anything. Insecure, yeah. When you meditate, your mind is become tranquil, clear. It's not just tranquil, clear. It's just vacant. Right. There's energy. Right. There's force. And you can and have a sense of humor. Sense of humor, yeah. and you know, like. Uh, for example, um, very colorful, and it, yeah. I know many meditators and you know Tibetan. They're very joyful, colorful. Yeah. They're like they're not like boring, you know, like very very, right. uh, you know, like very stiff. It's very opposite. I think uh, therefore I say meditation experience very colorful yeah. because that really I think uh, for example uh, when your mind is tranquil, clear, you know that's how your mind becomes. You meditate over time your mind has become good shape, actually. Right. And that means you can enjoy the world more, there's more enjoy, there's more you know, vibration, there's more vitality, and there's more uh, colorful experience. That's really our, uh, right. the you know, result meditation. It's not like, you know, draw from the world, but right. you, you, uh, your meditation, my own experience, and you know, tradition is once your mind is states tranquility, uh, stability, you enjoy more world much mm. better than mm. just you are, you know, mind is chaos. That's a great point. Mm. People often think it's like when I was a child and I mm. looked at my parents mm. or whoever meditating, mm. I thought they were hiding from the world, mm. but really they were opening up in some way to being present with life. Yes. Um, could, would you mind demonstrating or teaching me or the viewers how to meditate briefly? Yes, I think that's, that's, that's very wonderful. Yeah, we can just, a yeah. few meditation exercises, let's do, and you know, like that. So do you sit like this? Uh, you said, I think you, 
You sit very comfortably and okay. with a chair or a cushion, anywhere you're physically comfortable. That's okay. the number one, physically comfortable. And then I think um, um, I, then, uh, open your eyes. Usually here, you know, most people close eyes, but really actually you will do in, you know, in a, most Buddhist tradition, you open eyes, you know, gazing down nose like this. And you know, like, and you can directly, but open eye, physically, you are comfortable, and you put your here, or you do this, either way is fine. Okay. You know, and then. Which is uh, simple. Yeah, simple physical relaxation, and then silence your speech. And then number So it's not super rigid. No, no. If and you, it's not. You, no, no, super it's not. Slumped. You're physically natural, you know, physically very natural okay. and very, you know, not contrived, not uptight, mm -hmm. and not stiff, but natural. At the same time, and uh, relax your mind. Um, relaxation. Uh, you need to be your mind natural. Um, and then I think um, um, focus your uh, awareness with the breath. Uh, just that's only you focus. And, and just watching your breath in inhaling, exhaling, you focus that continually. And that's only you focus. And you're not, this, this time you're not thinking a past or not thinking future, and not, you know, like wandering and present, you know, any kind of external conditions, just remain in this breath. While we're doing the watch our breath, the thoughts, emotions, you know, mental events slowly, slowly slows down because only we focus breath. We are not focusing any other problems, any other things. Most important part is naturally subside thoughts, emotions. Not like you're doing that, but naturally subside. And then the more thoughts, emotions naturally subside the mind is become more buoyant and calm and you know like tranquil side mind is appear to you you know like that and you know, so if I get lost in my thoughts do I just come back to the breath or? yeah you lost your thoughts you know like you go somewhere you come back and you don't need you know you need as long as you're not lost a breath or present moment you know some thought occurs not a big deal Mm -hmm. And lost is problem. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm thinking about problems. Yeah, so thinking you are completely drift yeah. from the present moment. And that's uh, the problem. But few thoughts are not problem. Few thoughts here, or there, is not big deal. That's meditation practice. You know, says normal. Cool. You know, here thoughts, here, there. And most people are thinking, you know, sometimes they say, oh, they have thoughts. They're meditation. They cannot meditate. Right. But uh, you can have thoughts. You you need to have maybe. 40 person, maybe 70 person, your mind is calm. There are 30 percent thoughts, still you can meditate. Mm. Not big deal. And therefore, watching continually this present moment, uh, you know, like, and then more thoughts, emotions, uh, you know, subside, you gain tranquility. And, and then you, you can gain tranquility, you experience. And you today that, oh, you have some degree tranquility, calmness of mind, stability of mind today. And tomorrow you do that, and then over time, there's your mind is tranquil right. and relaxed and calm. There's vibration. That's how your mind becomes eventually. Mm. That's the result so, meditation. So in terms of working with difficult emotions, stress or anger or depression or sadness or even excitement, over yes. excitement, too much coffee, yes. uh, does that meditation practice? Yes help with all yes that. you for example like um, anything you when once your meditation is progress your mind is tranquility you're uh, ready any challenges mm. but most people think you know like they meet that immediate that moment you don't do meditation before but something right. crisis comes you need something then it's too late it's then um, cannot do i think before you for example any, even a crisis come, challenges you have, the meditation experience, then you can, you know, deal with any sadness, uh, broken, you know, relationships, 
and lost loved ones or unhappy, anything you can deal, you know, that's really our, um, you can effectively deal all these challenges, very comfortable way. So the basic practice is take a good relaxed posture, pay attention to the breath. Yeah, pay attention to the breath. That, that's the you know, technique and that means mm, stay present moment. Mm -hmm. If you stay present moment with breath, the technique, that's called technique, yeah. The experience, that's called meditation experience. Meditation experience, and you do that, the thoughts, emotions slowly, slowly dissipate. Your mind is become more tranquil. That's the experience of meditation. There's one is technique, watching the breath, remain in present moment. That's, you know, like technique. You yeah. need to do something. And do you bow or do you dedicate the merit before or after? Do you do anything else around the meditation? I think you, you know, like beginning you have, you know, do the meditation, you have something, you know, from all beings, relieve really suffering, gain mm -hmm. happiness, therefore I want to meditate. So it's not just for me, it's for everyone. Yeah, for everyone. You can, and then when you end, you know, like uh, finished and you say all, all this virtue and all this, you know, like uh, positive and I can dedicate from all beings, achieve um, you know, like mm, relieve their suffering, gaining their ultimate happiness. You can dedicate that also well. Traditional, they do that. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Rinpoche. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for visiting thank us. Thank you. Yeah, yes. and I hope this uh, video is a benefit to yes. all sentient beings. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you. Please come again. Yes.